Hi guys, Venus Speak Stack here, VST, and I'm flexing my shiny aquarium and my nice fishes, but we're not here to speak about my aquarium, but to speak about the true 90 Hertz display and settings. So stay tuned and watch the full video. And yeah, my aquarium is actually quite nice. If you like my videos, you can subscribe for my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you. So guys, you know that the OnePlus 7 Pro was one of the first commercial phones to offer the 90Hz display. And if you want to check a little bit more about 60Hz and 90Hz, then please check the video here. I'm going to be putting this video also into my description below. But there is one thing, when you go to the settings and you go to display, apparently you can choose the screen refresh rate. And now you can see I am running on the 90Hz, which of course takes its toll on the battery life and it provides with really an ultra smooth experience at a high refresh rate but of course it takes a little bit more of the battery life but one very interesting fact is that actually the 90 hertz refresh rate will be switched dynamically based on scenarios so what the hell does this mean guys what does dynamically switch based on scenarios and i can tell you it means that the 90 hertz is not running all at all time all right so one phone will eventually on its own identify which app it's good to have 90 hertz which app not and then even if you are using here the 90 hertz toggle setting you will not be running truly on the 90 hertz and there is a cure for that and actually there is an app called auto 90 which i bought on the play store because it was on sale i think it cost around like two dollars and let me try to install it together with you set it up together with you and see the benefits so let's do this okay i'm pressing auto 90 it says welcome to auto 90 let's learn how to use auto 90 okay we press here next auto 90 only works on oneplus 7 pro running oxygen os if you're using another device or custom rom please uninstall the app now go around the okay so i'm not sure if that's still applicable but okay you're supposed to use this only with your oneplus phones and i'm not sure i think i think i read somewhere that apparently you can already run uh, and use this on the oneplus 7t and 7t pro which also uh, offers the 90 hertz display okay so we go and press next how it works so here we see we have an auto toggle we have 60 hertz toggle and 90 hertz toggle so auto mode which is apparently the one here will follow the system's default and dynamically switch between 60 hertz and 90 hertz and that's eventually what we have already in the stock oxygen os settings that i showed you before 60 hertz mode will force the display to enter 60 hertz mode hence saving power use this option for apps that don't require 90 hertz such as video players and games and uh, honestly i'm not sure what you know how this differs from what we also have in the stock mode but here the main thing but 90 hertz mode will override the system default and force the display to be on 90 hertz use this option when default mode unwantedly switches to 60 hertz honestly guys i should probably make another video about it i am really enjoying the 90 hertz display although i can tell you this is like those things that you see it and then after five minutes you get used to it now when i go back from 90 hertz to 60 hertz i can tell the difference but you know, I mean, my, my grandmother never had 90 hertz, she, you know, she's doing still fine. So at the end of the day, it is a nice feature, a little bit probably in brackets too overrated, you know, for really my personal opinion, but still, let's try to force the phone to be only on 90 hertz and get the most out of this display. And in the same time, I'm also running the QHD resolution. So if you want to save battery, because we have a 4000 mAh bis here, then you have to go for 60 hertz and use the full HD display, which apparently doesn't justify all the money that you <laughs> gave to get the OnePlus 7 Pro, OnePlus 7T and the 7T Pro. So let's press next here, clearing profiles, a recommended profile we apply when you first set up the app. Okay, tap on the trash icon um, on the upper screen to reset the profile, so apparently you can create your own profiles. We're gonna test this one, so I'm gonna press next here. Well, that was easy, enjoy what the hell happens right now, let's press down. Okay, and now guys, here the very, very much important step. Auto 90 requires a special permission from the system that it's only accessible to a computer, all right? And we know how to do this, guys. It's the same thing that we did already in some videos ago when I showed you how to enable the core recording. So let me take my cable put my PC on and let's do this together. Voila, I have my cable here. So by the 
moment you press done, a web page will magically open. And okay, guys, then you have to really follow the instructions here. First one is how to enable the developer mode. It's quite easy. You need to go in the about and you have to about of the phone and you have to tap several times on the build number. Once you have the developer options, guys, you need to enable the USB debugging, which is also shown here. So you have to go, let me actually just do it for you guys. So we're gonna go, go here to uh, settings, all right. Then we're gonna go about phone and this is here the build number. So I'm pressing like crazy a lot of times and okay, I'm already a developer. And once that's done guys, you go back to the settings, you go into the system and then you have your developer options. So we need to make sure that the USB debugging option is switched on. In that case, that's his, that is this here. And also, okay, just in case, put wireless ADB debugging. Now, in some cases, people are having problems to connect the phone to the PC via ADB, then I recommend to do here this one, uh, revoke USB debugging authorizations. Okay, but we're not, we're not covering this case yet. Okay, so let's see, let's go back to what they say here. And actually, let me connect my, let me connect my phone to the computer. Okay, now let's do this quite quickly, guys. Okay. You, can you see here, USB debugging connected. Okay, now that's quite phone is connected to the PC, guys. You need to do the following. So on the Windows, you need to press the Windows plus R key and you have to type the CMD. So let me straight do this on my PC and let's do this together. Now you need to press the Windows button and R and actually, guys, the idea is to open the CMD prompt. Now you have to navigate where your ADB is installed. I'm going to put a link to the minimal ADB installation. In my case, guys, let me just do this right here. I am I have them in program files 8x6 and here all right so you can see I have my ADB exec here just in case to make sure that the phone is connected just press and type ADB devices okay then press enter and then we see that the phone is connected guys if you have here some numbers and letters this is actually the id of the phone right so when you connect the phone for the first time you're gonna get a message on the phone saying okay you know you want to allow this connection you have to press yes so let's see what are the next steps guys in order to enable the auto 90 all right so cool yeah this is actually the message guys that you are going to receive if you are connecting the phone for the first time through adb Okay, now very, very important, guys. Hey, we need to write this whole command on the goddamn prompt. ADB shell, PM grant, blah, 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 whatever. So this kind of allows permission of the Auto 90 app to force the 90 hertz. So let us straight do it and see what happens. Okay. Because I'm lazy, I don't want to really type this by my hand, so I'm just going to go and copy and paste this. All right, just make sure, guys, that you copy everything, else it's not going to work. So I'm copying the command and I'm going here back to my ADB folder, all right, Jesus, let's try to copy paste that one and boom, actually you don't get anything on the screen, but this means actually that the permission has been enabled because if the command is executed properly, it will return silently. So let's go back to the phone and see what happens. So the phone is here guys, I am switching out to 90 after we executed the command. <laughs> Oh, yes, here it is. Okay, guys, so now, the whole idea is now that based on the scenarios that you can set here, I can set the 90 Hertz to be always there for the AccuWeather. But let's say maybe I don't want to use the 90 Hertz for the AccuWeather. I just want to do it on 60 Hertz. So let's press 60 and let's actually, uh, let's restart AccuWeather, guys, and see what happens because if everything works fine now, the AccuWeather should be on the 60. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I definitely can see the difference. I'm not sure if this can be seen on the video because again, the 69 hertz kind of thing is not really a fat or a crazy in brackets, but okay. So yeah, all right. Now I can see it's 60 hertz, and let's see if uh, if I can put here directly 90 hertz. If going back from the app. Ah, uh, okay, yes, yeah, okay. It's not here, it's now. So guys, right now uh, you see that with this application, you are able to set the hertzish the hertz, is, this word doesn't exist, sorry. The hertz, the, <laughs> the refresh rate uh, as per application, right? So sort by app name, you can apparently sort them by app name. I'm not sure how to get this thing about the profiles. Clear app profiles and reset. Okay, let's reset this thing here. All right, so, oh, okay. Now we see that everything is running on the auto mode, okay? And uh, let's see, I think I, I actually expected to have more, more options there. Let's see what happens, no, nothing. 
Okay, switching it back again. Yes, so it seems now that apparently Chrome, Google Maps, Google Photos and Twitter for so, some goddamn reason is forced on um, 90 Hertz. And uh, let me just see, probably those are like these dynamic scenarios. I think all other apps are not forced. They are on auto. Uh, but the thing is, it's pretty much, I, I don't think that you can pretty much do anything else but just try, you know, to set up specific settings, guys. So there is also another method to force 90 Hertz everywhere. And that's not this method here. So this only allow you to kind of choose specific refresh rate per an application, right? So honestly, I don't think that too much, yeah. But okay, cool, let's see. I just want to set up 90 Hertz everywhere. So let's try to do this. So now guys, this is the interesting part. The XDA recognized contributor C3C076 a while ago and built that there are apparently more refresh rate options inside the Oxygen OS that of course are not visible. And let's take a look guys, remember that I showed you that you can check, you can choose 90Hz, you can choose 60 uh, and also let me just show you guys back again. So when we go to the settings of the phone, alright, we go settings, then we go to display and here we can see that we have actually 90 hertz and 60 hertz all right actually two options right and actually this corresponds to what we see here so we either are using the 60 hertz or we either are using apparently the other option and now he's saying that where mode 0 is for 90 hertz mode mode 1 is for 60 hertz and mode 2 is for the auto mode and he's saying also option summary text in this place will show 60 hertz which is the bug so even if we want to force 90 hertz everywhere it will not be displayed on the phone and this is forced via an adb command that stands here adb shell settings put glow one plus screen refresh rate and then you choose you know one or you choose zero or you choose two and if you want to go for 90 hertz then you are choosing the option one and guys i'm gonna do this uh, because i'm really keen to understand if there's going to be like a toll on my battery, okay, so I'm connecting the phone. You see here, this is the message I wanted to show you guys. I connected the phone and uh, okay, now I am doing, uh, I am allowing the connection. Okay, so I'm going to be opening now my com prompt. Actually, it's there. I'm going to be putting the command and hitting it. Nothing is displayed, guys. So I'm disconnecting the phone. And now when I go to settings display and uh, screen refresh rate, you see, I am officially now running on the 90 Hertz. And I see it's very trendy that people are going, are going to the site called UFO test, where apparently you can test your refresh rate. Now when you open this web page, guys, you see, yeah, the 90 Hertz are really flowing smooth, smooth, smooth. And in order for you to understand the difference, I am going to do this also here on the monitor of my PC, which is I think is running on 60 Hertz. And can you see here? Now the monitor is running on the 60 Hertz as to my phone is running on the 90 Hertz. But the thing is, okay, that yeah, that's pretty much what, what we see here. The idea is that this side is really very trustable. So guys, I have now enabled 90 Hertz everywhere and uh, i'm going to be very keen to understand how my phone is going to perform with that another thing that we did not we did not test is what is going to happen now if i open auto and auto 90 the application uh, okay you see here application is i think it's kind of full so it says again every every that everything is on on auto but we can say now and we know now for sure that everything now runs Butterly smooth and we have forced the 90 hertz so guys if you don't want to use the 90 hertz then you should go back going back probably is just by selecting option one or two let's try to test this also so i'm gonna hook up my phone again okay i want to allow the adv connection let's go for 90 hertz which is actually the option uh okay option one so if if we go here and i change the zero and i put one okay let's see all right now if we go to the settings to the display to the refresh rate okay now we see that we are on 60 hertz indeed and what happens if we go if i choose the option two guys all right okay 
Option 2 is displayed, let's do again, go here, you see it's 90 Hertz. But this 90 Hertz here is utilizing this dynamic scenario where apparently the phone will decide for itself when 90 Hertz should be really applied. So if you want like the truly 90 Hertz refresh rate, we're gonna get to, we're gonna hit the zero. So let's hit it again. And now when we go back here to the screen refresh, we see nothing is selected, all right? And this now means, uh, actually here, this guy from the XDA forum says that it apparently is a bug. So OnePlus simply did not account for the fact that somebody can change the value to something else from outside. So guys, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I think we have now truly forced 90 Hertz on my OnePlus 7 Pro. I have shown you also the Auto 90 Hertz application. It doesn't cost a lot of money if you like it. It provides really a very nice, uh, I think, option for you to customize which app should run on 90, which not. With this app, you're also able to achieve 90 Hertz display everywhere. But okay, if you're really yeah, lazy like me, then just go via <laughs> this command. Also, a bonus for you guys, you can apparently use the J1 Plus tools to do this for you like to set the 90 hertz everywhere so you can also do that i hope you like the video subscribe for my channel guys if you have some comments please leave them below the video i'm trying to help everybody that's people asking me some questions i try always to respond you can hit me up in twitter telegram check my instagram and of course also here on the main youtube channel so stay positive guys enjoy the saturday vst over